Hi everyone, this is Chris from Simple Techie and for my today's video, we are going to bypass this iPhone SE first generation which is locked on the passcode and as you can see guys, what I'm holding right now is the iPhone SE and it's not easy to bypass this this one because of the passcode it's much easier to bypass those who are in the hello screen but those in the passcode mode it's a bit uh, hard to do it so we should run a lot of process to bypass this one successfully so in this video guys i will show you all the process that we need to do to successfully bypass this iphone se so let's start this video after this intro Okay, so let's start the process. So as you can see guys, I am holding now the iPhone SE in the passcode mode. We need to prepare some applications that we are going to use for this bypass. And of course, we need to use the Mina Loader 1.0 which is available to download on the Mina Chris website. So just click the link below if you want to download it directly or you can visit Mina Chris on its website. And of course guys, we need a Mac operating system for this to work because Mina Chris and uh, Mina Loader and Mina Patcher USB Patcher uh, doesn't work on Windows so we need a Mac OS to do this so as you can see guys the problem with passcode devices running iOS 14 or above the Apple has already patched the um, the way to jailbreak these devices so as you can see if your device is on passcode mode you cannot connect it to your computer it says that unlock the iPhone so that you can connect to the computer so the first thing first we need to use the Mina loader we need to connect our device to the Mina loader hold the power and the home button to boot on the DFU mode and once that um, the Mina loader detected our device on DFU mode we should let go of the power and hold the diagnostic buttons which is the volume up just stay and hold those buttons do not really set until I say so so while holding the volume up and the home button we need to click boot device on the Mina loader as soon as the boot device uh, button is clickable so let's click it while holding the volume up and volume and the home button sorry so once you have clicked it you just need to wait for the process to complete as you can see in, in the iPhone SE screen the jailbreak is said as it is uh, it is successfully done and let let's just wait for a pop-up message to pop up on our Mac screen and also iTunes will read our device as something that it is on diagnostic mode so it says that the Mina loader tool that our device is now successfully jailbroken so this is what we are going to be needed this is what we needed because without this without this process we cannot jailbreak or bypass this passcode device okay this is the only way for us to bypass this passcode device without this method we cannot uh, jailbreak our device that easily so the next thing we should use is the Bina USB patcher but this the software is paid you can download it for free but you will need to register your serial number to the Bina website and that will cost five dollars for that so each device will cost five dollars for the um, serial number registration for the Mina USB patcher to be to work okay but for this video I will going to use a different uh, a different tool which is this um, tool right here but this is the IRP tool that uh, we are using on our group on our community but if you don't want uh, this tool to if, the, if you don't want to use this tool, you can use the Mina USB Patcher and it also has the same process with this. So, okay, let's uh, continue and let us patch the USB. Once we are patched, it says that the USB is already patched. What we are going to do now is 
we can now jailbreak our passcode device without any restrictions so what we're going to do is to open the check rain version 12.2 what i'm going to use right now is the check rain version 0.12.2 but you can also use the latest check rain 0.12.4 for this method it doesn't uh, affect any uh, part of this process so as you can see it is not supported let's just click options and allow untested versions okay and now we will proceed to the jailbreaking process we just need to follow the on-screen instructions uh, for us to jailbreak again this um, iPhone SE first generation so uh, as you can see you just need to hold the power and home button until uh, we enter the DFU mode just follow the check rate instructions on that and we will be having no any prob any problems to do this method So, uh, so as you can see it is now triggered the jailbreak and some text are now appeared it's now appeared on our iPhone SE screen and let's just wait until the check rate itself says that it's all done without any errors so error negative when negative 20 should not shouldn't should not appear on this check rate software so it says it's all done now we can go and proceed to the next um, next step for this passcode bypass. And because Apple has already patched the iCloud removal for the passcode devices, we have no other, we have no choice but to use the other method, which is the backup and restore method for the passcode device. So what we're going to do now is we are going to backup the activation file from this iPhone. And we are going to restore it um, later on so that uh, we can bypass the passcode while we can activate it. So now I'm going to use the iBypasser on the Windows PC. So let's go to. I'm going to reboot this Mac into my Windows operating system. So let's just wait for a minute. Okay, now that we are on the Windows mode, anyway guys, this PC is dual boot. I have here a Mac operating system and I also have a Windows operating system. And now I will going to open the iBypasser applications. The link is on the description. You can also visit the iBypasser website for them to uh, for you to download those files on their website directly. And you can also buy credits to them because this tool may be free but there are some services here that is paid so okay so some of the services like iCloud bypass iCloud removal are paid uh, services but in a very cheap price so you can visit their website and you can contact them and ask them for that okay guys so this is the iBypasser sorry if you can see it clearly because of that strong um, exposure on my camera uh, but uh, still you can um, just use it as a what do you call this one reference to what we are going to do right now so once we open the iBypasser app there are some um, services here that you can you can read on the software but what we are going to use right here is the backup so we, go, we are going to click the backup on the iBypasser screen but first of course we need to plug in our iPhone SE or our device on our Windows PC and the iBypasser should read the UDID or the device itself on the iBypasser software so once the iBypasser has read our device we need to click the backup and we need to click uh, we need to backup the activation files as you can see it is uh, happen just uh, as fast as a blink of an eye so don't worry about that backing up your activation device will just done in just a snap seconds like that so that is normal as long that it says that it's 100% backup then you are good to go and you have to make sure that it is backup because without that backup uh, we cannot restore our device and then we need to click 
the reset um, from this iBypasser software and it will automatically reset our device without updating it to the latest iOS version so what the software will do is to reset our device staying on the um, current iOS version which is the iOS 14 so if you stuck on that part you just need to click home button and power button together to do a soft reset and the restoration process will continue or will resume so after that that we are uh, the phone is successfully reset or we just need to wait for a few minutes for this reset process to be done so let's wait Okay, now that the reset is completed, as you can see, we are now right now on the activation screen on the initial setup for this iPhone SE, which is we're going to set the languages and for etc. And if we are going to activate the device using the ABI passer 20%, the software or this activation will fail. So the reason for that is because we need to jailbreak the device or jailbreak our device because after the reset, the device. Oh, the jailbreak on this device has lost so what we're going to do is again boot to my mac os or whatever way you need to, you need or you want to jailbreak this device and then let's re jailbreak this device and we are going to repeat the process on activating this device using the i bypasser so come on let's go and re jailbreak this iphone se Anyway guys, for those who want to know how to do this um, dual booting on your Windows PC, you can watch my video uh, on my playlist here on my YouTube channel so that you can learn how to dual boot your system. As you can see, I have here my operating system as a Windows and a Mac OS, although it's not a, it's um, um, somehow not compatible with each other because I'm using a GTX 1650 Super video card and uh, um, um, Hackintosh doesn't support that video card so anytime that I am um, using my Mac OS I need to disable it and use a graphic ejector or injector so as you can see we are here now on my Mac OS let's open the check rain version 0.12.2 and let's re jailbreak our device so as you can see now we don't need any patch or anything we just go straight ahead on the jailbreak process so let's click allow a tested version let's go back and let's start the process so let's go okay and now it's now jailbroken what we're going to do is to boot back into our windows pc and uh, we're going to return to the ibypasser software to activate our the device let's go let us open the ibypasser software let's plug in our device and as you can see we don't need to log in on the ibypasser software because i found out that uh, this this service from the ibypasser software is just free okay we don't need credits any credits for this to work so let's click activate and now as you can see it is now on 50% preparing for a spring our device will boot up for a few times maybe one or two and let's just wait until the software tells us that it is um, successfully um, activated so as you can see this is the second time that our phone is rebooting and now it says that successfully or success uh, we already activated our device so there's some instructions right here just in case that the sim will not work you need to re jailbreak the device but uh, just in case that the sim or the network will not work Now if you check our status on the iBypasser, 
we will see that the iPhone is now activated although the phone itself is not so we need to do the initial setup so okay as you can see we are now on the home screen and the phone is now activated and we can now use the phone as normal and as usual and so far the check rain is still the uh, still here and I think the check rain is still working so now what we're going to do is to um, test if the sim card or the network data is working on this iPod SE because that should work so as you can see right now I have inserted a sim card on this device it was a TM and as you can see the data is working it's loading and it's on LTE so confirm that this process has uh, worked and successfully bypassed this passcode device using that method so that's not an easy task but if you follow all the instructions that we do uh, that I do on this video you can bypass your device um, without um, any hassle so if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be updated for my future uploads it's me again Chris Signing out. Bye-bye. Peace out.